Hey guys, welcome to The Healing Garden. It's Sean here, and we have the week update. We're going to be changing up the format this week, kind of go back and forth, and hopefully give you a little bit more viewing pleasure than just running through the garden, and give you a little bit more information, which I've wanted to incorporate. You guys can see we do have the updated trailer, and thank you, Travis, for having that music that I could use for it. First, I want to show you guys the sunflower wall, which is right behind me. We're gonna start incorporating some vegetables in there. So I'll show you how we're gonna be changing up the planters there and then also we'll go and update you on the sprouts for the vegetables that we've started. They're coming along great. And then from there, just show you around and show you the progress and get a little bit more in depth so you guys know what's going on if you're trying to follow along at home. Um, I am Jane, thank you again for all of your comments and viewing all the way in Australia. Hopefully we can see some pictures of your garden and its progress. So let's go ahead and get into the garden here guys. So if you can see here we've actually taken the planters and we've moved them out. So what I'm doing is I'm actually getting the soil ready. We're going to pull up all this grass after we let it soak and then from there I want to put just vegetables in front here. So the thought behind it is I don't want to have to spread where I have to use my water. So may as well be able to water the sunflowers. They're going to be dying soon and just turn over the soil almost. So that's what we're going to be doing there. Now, interesting thing about the sunflowers in Greek mythology, they're actually believed to have been a water nymph that's turned into a sunflower after her love for the Greek god Apollo was so deep that he didn't even acknowledge her and when he had returned to the stars she sat for nine days and admired him as he came and went through the night skies didn't drink any water or anything like that and then from there she turned into a sunflower um, I'll put the story in the link if you want to read the full thing but interesting fact about the sunflowers there Hey guys, so as you can see we have our sprouts that are, or well the seeds and some sprouts already from our pure pollination seeds that we got. And if you look inside the package here, all of the seeds are nicely individually wrapped there and it has the label on there. What we did once we used them is we just put a little bit of tape on there and just put them back in the bag. They also give you a little booklet that shows you what time of year to plant them. We didn't really follow them as well, but if you live in a part of the nation where there is temperature that changes that often, definitely you probably want to read that a little bit more, but we're shooting for it and hoping for the best results. So let's get a closer look at which ones have sprouted already. So looking at our sprouts, we have cauliflower, there's Brussels sprouts right there. We have some Swiss chard, some collard greens, holidays are coming up. Over here we got some asparagus, kale. And then this is the salad bar that I was telling you guys. So we have some romaine lettuce, spinach, and then just some other type of romaine. And then over here we have our broccolis coming in. Yeah buddy. Then we have some uh, cherry tomatoes there, squash, this one, I forgot what it is, cucumber. Our okra, it's getting ready to come up right there. And then the rest of them, they're getting ready to come up as also. So be on the lookout for those and see how we place those in the garden. Really just trying to intertwine beauty and using proper also I have some snow peas here and I'm gonna put some chicken wire and kind of have them go up the side not too high of course but enough to where we can have a cool little area check our sweet potato over here that's doing really great sorry it's windy today guys but just take a little look at how everything's progressing you can see the oryx doing really well. Everything's doing good. We got it all the way up to the top. Everything's starting to t intertwine around there. And it's going to be a cool little vine. 
Check out our jalapeno. It's hanging in there. It's got some new leaves coming in down here, so check those out. And then the sprouts are really just coming in here. So those are gonna be fun to watch come up. I'm gonna try and thin them out. Remember last week I was telling you this guy, don't worry too much about him. Well, he's got all the new sea or leaves coming on, or she, either one. But yeah, check out all that. And then we have some lettuce as well. So that's going good. And everything's going really well in the sprout world. So there's a lot of stuff that you guys are going to see the transition as you guys have already seen if you've been watching previously. So again, check out all those. And our little aloe vera. Hey guys, thanks again for watching. As you see, there is a lot of stuff that is coming up, so there's more to watch. We're not done improving the garden. We're not done changing it. It's going to be forever evolving just like our message hopefully will be forever evolving. Quick update on Amanda, she's resting right now in bed. She's doing great during all of this stuff. Just really the strongest person I know and a true inspiration. If you're somebody that's going through cancer or you're somebody helping support somebody going through cancer, feel free to leave a comment or reach out to me on Instagram or Facebook. And no, you're not alone. You know, I might not get right back to you, but I will take time to give my thoughts or let you know how I get through it. So let's leave you with some beautiful music and some beautiful flowers along with some butterflies. Thanks again, Travis, for providing the music this week. Uh, if you guys have feedback, leave it in below. And if you guys want to see anything that you didn't see this week, let me know as well. Have a great day, guys.